Hello everyone and welcome back to Knights of the Old Republic. I am Dudical. And we are off to slaughter Gaddin and the Hidden Vex. Can't really remember where they are. I should probably look at my map. I think they're just around this corner actually. Uh, Hidden Beck base right there, bam. Now they should see me as a friend because last time I came here I was a friend. But who knows, I mean. At this point in this game, anything's possible. They could just attack me immediately. Nope. Alright. Alright, let's try to go straight to Gadden and kill him and then fight our way out. I'd rather do that than to fight our way in. Ooh, there's a lot of hidden backs here now. Let's see. Lower city main hall. Yeah, I'm not getting anything from that. Is there a terminal anywhere that I could hack into and check out the schematics? Super race coming up will show us Volkos who's in charge here. When we win, half the people falling back will desert him. Uh-oh. Uh... Alright then. There we go. That's what I like to see. But I really hope that this is the right way now. I hope this is the way to Gaddon. Because we are going to have to fight our way out at this point, I believe. Sweet. Oh, no, don't want the elevator. Check out where I am. Shit. Oh, I'm stuck on an invisible wall. What the hell? Why can't I walk into this goddamn room? Alright, anything to loot from these guys? Man, this place looks pretty run down. Alright. Life support pack. That's interesting. Ugh, again, invisible walls. Alright, let's take the elevator. I presume that's what I have to do. Unless this is a door to somewhere right here. Let's take the elevator first. Let's save the game. How about that? I need to remember that this is a game that's similar to like Elder Scrolls, for example, where if you don't save it, then uh, if you don't save regularly, then you're screwed. You can't come in here. Sound the alarm, Gaddon. Relax, Kira. This is an ally, not an enemy. 
He's promised to help get our prototype accelerator back from the Vulcan. And I may have done that. Gadden. These must be the assassins Brigig sent. How else did they get in here? Liar. Failure. The gods would have announced <laughs> you. Gadon, we've been betrayed again. Again. We're under attack. Gods, gods! The guards are all dead, all right? Let's do a, a concussion grenade. And let's do a plasma grenade. And a frag grenade. Oh man, my girl's oh. dead. Let's do a concussion grenade on her. Oh god. Don't shoot. No. He wanted to shoot his stupid gun. I told him to do a, another plasma grenade. I right, see this one. I'm glad I, I saved. Um, I'm going to put this shield on myself. Let's look at the Wookiee. The Wookiee could use an energy shield too. He can't wear any armor, huh? All right, he's got the adrenaline thingy. Yep, didn't sure. mean to do that. What? Hmm. Why don't you do the heavy blaster? Heavy blaster in both hands. Okay. We're all shielded up now. What? I think we're all as strong as we're gonna get. Let's save. And let's try this again. Now I'm just gonna go straight for plasma. Who are you? Really? You're too yep. we're under Let's do frag. Let's do plasma, and then concussion, and plasma. Wow, they slaughter me. Huh. I wonder if I'm- am I just doing this wrong? I mean... Maybe I should go blades as well? Viro blade, viro blade. Who are you? And last time... Using a concussion against him worked. I'll use concussion against him and then flurry, flurry, flurry. You're gonna do flurry, flurry, flurry. You're gonna go against her. Sniper, sniper, sniper. Actually, no. You're gonna keep the concussions coming. You're gonna go concussion, sonic. No, no, not sonic. Uh, frag, frag, frag. Yeah. Okay. You need to use med pack. Cancel what you're doing and and uh Yeah. Plasma? Yes. Yeah. 
Okay, we killed the girl. What? And let's go to him. Oh no, no, no. Wrong guy, wrong guy. There we go. Wookie needs to go that, that, that. You need to go. Ooh. Okay, I guess you can just continue. Yeah. Sweet. We did it. Okay. Mass grenades worked. Memory package, energy shield, light armor. Good stuff, good stuff. And what did she get? Double blade, military suit, and some other cool stuff. I like it. Sure. What? Yes? What? Sure. And let's level him up. Skills. Definitely needs more persuasion because his persuasion is garbage. Beats. Uncanny dodge is what he got. Um, you know, I do want to... I don't know, maybe make this guy more tough. He does die very easily. Sniper shot, improve, master. All right, he's gonna be improved toughness. Cause he does die very easily. No problem. Got it. Three hundred credits and advanced med kits. Very nice. All right, let's save the game again, cause God knows what's gonna happen when I go back down here. And I don't want to fight those two bosses again. I died more times to them than I died to the Rancor. Alright, I might as well just go right through the front door, kill all the Becks on the way. Plasma. 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 All right, let's pause this for a second. Sonic. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Getting stronger. Bex are so weak. Also, <laughs> I went through a fair amount of grenades in the last two fights. I think I probably went through about six or eight grenades. I don't know. Maybe more. I'm still not really sure what an ion grenade or a... Uh, What's the other one called? No problem. Didn't work. Uh, you said no problem. Liar. Oh, iron grenade definitely hurts these guys. 
Yeah, oh my god. Melee weapons are just so much better. You got that right, Chewie? Look, I don't care if he is Chewbacca or he isn't Chewbacca, okay? I'm gonna call him Chewbacca! <laughs> I suppose we need to go talk to the Volcars again, right? Volcars? Guess what, Mr. Bouncer? You better watch it, all right? You better watch yourself. There's dudicles in town. I don't take no scruff. <laughs> I hope I can enter from this direction again. I mean, unlike last time. Oh, perfect. Because last time it was sealed, so I had to go through the underground. Where's my money? Kuyami juice kachita naipatoga ya fulki kukula jiti kawana bota aayut tagwa kanki dora tikun muata tima naithabola tonga ituam jiji yumalith pa ang ninkotu tolba da bung walya gando de nago chuchut kachi chua itha haudunga yumalith ka ninkotun Chilo Mulra de Nebobo Munko Kun Biskang Bamulara Takum Justak Miki Gravel Mogo Kachi Chu Aithao Dunga Tulpata Bonk Molya Gando Danago Chuchut Moga Shampunkpa Bola Wan Yep, everybody wins Bamul Slick Mopo Dana Wanga Kun Beast Mulira Best Jack, for me yeah, why do I get the feeling that he's sneaky? <laughs> <laughs> I like, what's the chance? Like, 10%? 80%? It might explode. Doma Doma? Doma Doma? Doma Chuni yun tun jiji aitha doana kava volpa muljui kama na. Shag jikin lor chawa ta uma kava volpa muljui. I won't have time to practice. Can't wait. Super excited. Wa makun bes chin pala muji. Tunira nu prata dunko sercha doma doma tonga bug sham uninong wanga kun beast king ba mulira couldn't be more simple chichi aitha doana kava volpa muljui kama na konti chani mulira shong turung umni patoga wanka chone tize ikratu hatu chichi ya what are you, Makawa Mahuhanek? You spend a restless night in the Volcar base. In the morning, one of the Volcars takes you to the swoop racing pits, where only races and mechanics are allowed to go. Alright. I 
I'm interested in this uh, this race. I'm interested to see how this game does it. So you're the one who's going to ride the swoop bike. Uh, don't worry, I've been working on the accelerator and stability won't be a problem. I hope. It better not, Mr. Longneck. Cad Candon mentioned that you've never done this before. You want me to run over the basics of riding a swoop bike for you? I suppose so. That sounds like it makes sense, like you probably should. Let's just get to the racing though. <laughs> Each rider goes out on the track alone. At the end of the day, whoever posted the fastest time is the winner. I see, I see. Normally a rider can run as many heats as he wants, but I don't know how long a prototype accelerator will hold on. No more than four or five races, I'd guess. Alright, we'll see. So I have four or five chances to get the best time. So, make your runs count. Remember, the Vulcans are counting on you. If you win this race, half of Gavin's crew will join us. Sounds like you're ready. Go talk to the race announcer over by the counter. They'll give you a time to beat and uh, get you out on the course. Thanks, buddy. Mr. Hammerhead, right here. This guy looks like a giant tapeworm. <laughs> the Rancor will probably shit this guy out. I'll be waiting for you here. Make any tweaks, repairs to your suit bike in case you want to go out for another heat. Okay. We'll see, man. We'll see. Good luck, and don't worry about the prototype overheating and exploding while you're on the track. That probably won't happen. Well, fingers crossed, I guess. Alright, let's save. Seems like a perfect time to save. Race announcer. You here to race, right? Okay, let's see who your sponsor is. Oh, you're riding for the Black Vulcars, I see. It used to be nobody could challenge the hidden backs in this race, but now you Vulcars are the team to beat. That's right, I'm an up and comer. Okay, you're registered now, good luck. Try not to get yourself killed. You've only lost one other rider today, and we want to keep it that way. <laughs> Whenever you're ready, you can hit the track. What's the time to beat? 38... That's, is that 38 minutes? Alright. Left click the mouse to accelerate and shift gears. Use the movement keys D and A to avoid obstacles and hit acceleration pads. Uh, are these acceleration pads? Oh, yep, they certainly are. And I hit something. Oh, space is shift gear. Wait, what, did I beat it already? <laughs> Yay! You did it! You got the top time! You just beat racers who have been doing this for 20 years! That's amazing! <laughs> that was so easy! <laughs> it was such a straight line, it wasn't even any turns! Oh man! Oh my god! That was so underwhelming, it's shocking! Someone who's never ridden a soup bike today comes in here and- Wait a minute, I don't believe this! Look at that board! Oh wait, somebody beat it, I bet. Somebody got a faster time. One of the Becks just beat your time. It was Anglu, I should have known. That's okay, the day isn't over yet, and the accelerator is still holding together. 
you just have to get out of there again and show them that how it's done. Well, the time was 38. I did 33. Let's see what she did. Because if I find out she did like 18 or something ridiculous, then I'm going to be like, ah, shit. Can I just stab her a bit? Just a bit. Just stab, stab. Stab, 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 stab. Ready to hit the track? No, literally, of course. We've already lost one rider that way today. What's time to beat now? 33. Alright, let's do it again. Alright, this time I know space is... is, uh... change gears. Go. Twenty five, girl. Let me see you beat that. I just took eight seconds off my time. You did it, you did it. In twenty years I've never seen anybody handle a super like that before. Nobody's gonna beat that time. Nobody. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I guess Candid knew what he was doing when he picked you to ride for us. Now the only thing is to wait for the time to become official and go collect your prize. The Jedi. Put your hands together, show your appreciation. Yeah! I, Brezhik, leader of the Black Volkers. I am honored to award the victory prize to one of my own. Once again, proving the Volkers are the premier gang of Taurus. Well done. Through your skill and courage, you have proven yourself the premier swoop rider and brought great glory to the Black Volkers. That's why it is with the greatest sadness that I have to inform you of a slight change in the prize I am offering for your victory. Um, hmm. When you hear what I have to say, you'll understand. It seems the woman I offered up as a prize is more than just a Republic officer. She's actually a Jedi. I've had to equip her with a neural disruptor collar to keep her mind in a state of unfocused confusion, just to make sure she doesn't use her force powers to escape. Obviously, I can't turn her over to you. It would be far too dangerous to have a Jedi as a slave. But rest assured, I'll find some other way to compensate you for your victory. Yeah, you son of a bitch, Brezik. Fucking dickhead. You old fool. Your traditions are nothing to me. I am the wave of the future. If I want to withdraw the prize and sell this woman on the slave market myself, nobody can stop me. I might have something to say about that, Brezik. Oh damn, yo, your collar didn't work. What? Impossible. You were restrained by a neural disruptor. How could you have possibly summoned the will to free yourself? You underestimate the strength of a Jedi's mind, Brezik. A mistake you won't live to regret. Focus to me! Kill this woman! Kill this swoop rider! Kill them all! Oh, damn you. Now I'm an enemy? Uh, let's just kill Brezik, huh? To hell with everyone else. Man, that's annoying. Miss, miss, miss. Miss, 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 miss. Here. 
Alright. Red Raz. Red Raz. I thought this Jedi would be a little bit more formidable. I was hoping she would take care of most of this. I seem to have to do all the work. Man, I sided with Bredrick for no reason at all. Like, he has- he had literally no reason to turn against me there at the last moment. He's pretty damn strong, though. Fighting me and a Jedi. Oh my god, miss, 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 miss. Can I hit anything here? I'm attacking him from behind and I'm still missing every hit. There we go. Double bladed lightsaber? What? Well, maybe those bloody Vulcans will think twice next time before trying to keep a Jedi prisoner. And as for you, if you think you can collect me as a prize, wait. I don't believe this. You're you're one of the soldiers with the Republic fleet, aren't you? Yes, I'm sure of it. How did you end up racing for these swoop gangs? Save me. Is that what you were trying to accomplish by riding in that swoop race? Well, as far as rescues go, this is a pretty poor example. Oh, in fuck you, bitch. Noticed, I managed to free myself from that neural restraint collar without your help. In fact, it's more accurate to say that I... Oh, my God. Please, game, let me kill her. Please. Dead ...if I hadn't stepped into that fight. You're lucky I was here to get you out of this mess. Holy God. Yes, I suppose you can. Well, I appreciate your attempt to save me, even if it didn't really go as you planned. But let's get down to business. We're not out of danger yet. If I'm going to figure out a way for us to get off this planet, I need to know what kind of resources we can draw on. First, are we the only two survivors left from the End of Spire? Karth and Massey is alive. Finally, some good news. Karth is one of the Republic's best soldiers. He's proved himself a hero a dozen times over. And he sent you here to save me. Maybe I misjudged you. Karth wouldn't have sent you if he wasn't confident in your abilities. Karth didn't send shit. Look, bitch, I'm in charge, okay? God damn it. a bit rationally sometimes. Please, take me to Karth right away. Between the three of us, I'm sure we can figure out some way to get off this planet before the Sith realize we're here. God, I hate her already. Can't wait until the game allows me to kill her. Whoa. Oh, sorry. Once again, sorry for the incredibly terrible resolution on your end. I don't know why. It's full screen on my desktop. I can't seem to get the cutscenes to translate. Oh man, four Jedi versus one Sith. You cannot win, Revan. Oh. What happened? There was an explosion and Bastila, you're alive. Revan died. Finally, things are looking up. Now I just need to figure out a way to get off this planet. You mean you don't have a plan to get off Taurus yet? What have you been doing all this time? Yeah, Karth. My attitude. It strikes me that you are the one in sore need of an attitude adjustment. I happen to be in charge of this mission, if you'll recall. I know you're new at this, Bastila, but a leader doesn't berate her troops just because things aren't going as planned. Don't let your ego get in the way of the real issues here. That hardly strikes me as an appropriate way of addressing your commander, Karth. I am a member of the Jedi Order, and this is my mission. Don't forget that. My battle meditation ability has helped the Republic many times in this war, and it will serve us well here, I'm sure. Your talents might win us a few battles, but that doesn't make you a good leader. A good leader would at least listen to the advice of those who have seen more combat than she ever will.
You know, I have my doubts about this mission, but I yeah, figured the Jedi Council wouldn't put you in charge if you weren't prepared. But here you are, acting like a spoiled child. Damn straight. It's true that I don't have much military experience. Perhaps I should not be so quick to judge. Very well, Karth. What do you suggest we do? First off, we can't get hung up on who's in charge. We all need to work together if we want to get off this rock. The answer is out there. We just have to find it. Well said, Karth. And the sooner we start looking, the better. I've already been a prisoner of the Volkers, and I don't plan on being captured by the Sith. I'm going to sell you to the Sith the moment I get the fucking chance. I think we'll need some help getting off Terrace. Maybe if we ask around, one of the locals can help us out. We should probably start by asking around in the cantinas. Is something wrong? You seem as if something's troubling you. A vision? A vision of what? I don't remember. You're fighting a dark Jedi Raven, I guess. It's strange. Such visions are often a sign of force sensitivity. That's right, I'm pretty forcey. I'm not sure. It may be that you have some connection to the force. I have all of the force the all up inside me. <laughs> when you first met, your natural talent may have fed off my own force abilities. It is possible that in the excitement of the battle's aftermath, the force allowed you to witness one of my more intense memories. The force is complicated. Even I, with all my training, cannot fully understand it yet. This is a matter best left to the wise masters of the Jedi Council. Once we escape Terrace, we can seek the guidance of the Council if you wish. They will understand the significance of your vision. If there is any. However, I think it would be best if we all stayed focused on the task at hand right now. We can't afford any distractions. We need to find a way off Terrace. Alright. But I'm probably gonna kill you later, just letting you know. You don't have the prerequisites. Item description. These exotic weapons are rare and most often associated with Jedi attracted to the dark side of the force, for whom reckless aggression is sometimes considered an asset. Double blade lightsaber is comparable, capable of inflicting more damage, but is also less precise than the single bladed variant. How can I help? Then I yes, what's on your mind? Terror. From what I hear, the wealthy live on the tops of all the tall towers. Well, that's all I can think. Ah, oh, you're useless. Ah. <sighs> Suppose I'll have to do everything myself, as usual. I can't seem to get rid of what he's wearing. How do I create a group? Hmm, that's right, I want to be ultra dark side. Mega ultra dark side, man. Let's save the game, and let's go explore the city a little bit, I guess. 
Yeah, I didn't even get any money. Okay, sweet. Add, add. Cool. Yep, I'm sure. That's right. That I am him. Candorous Ordo? Alright. Takunjustakmikigrabalmogo. Hey, you got anything new? Alright. Let's sell stuff first. Oh wait, close. Wait. I gotta equip these people first. What can you use? Nothing. You can't use anything, can you? Huh. Ah, they have a limited uses. What's this do? Intelligence plus one? No, nah, he doesn't need any more. He's super smart. Well, he's probably not, but he's smart enough. Okay, that's good enough for you. To 20 to 16. Alright, I'll get a lightsaber. Reflex thingy. Energy shield. That was another energy shield. Okay. Good enough for you. Brezik's belt. Damage resistance. Okay, I'll take that. I think that's probably going to be better. Project's gloves, dexterity, constitution or intelligence. I'll take in constitution. Interesting. Anyway, uh, neural band develops. Uh, it just increases will by two. Awareness by four. Light scan visor. Okay, let's wear that. Regic's armband and an energy shield. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Oh shit, she has a lightsaber out. Don't you think that's a little suspicious? Like people can see that you're obviously a Jedi. Doesn't that matter? Let's get rid of all that stuff. Pistol, pistol. Heavy blaster, ion blaster, ion rifle, bowcaster is useless, disruptor rifle, blaster rifle, cardio. Mine, 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 mine. Upgrade, upgrade, upgrade. Okay, cool. That's those are all upgrades. I should do uh huh. Let's 
Those are all upgrades. I should go put those into my thingy. Let's see your buy list. Let's take med packs. Let's take all their computer spikes. Let's take your parts. Let's see what grenades you have. I'll take all your grenades. Oh my god, how much did I just spend? I had like 4,000. That's insane. Alright, let's go back into the apartment and put the... How did she level up? <laughs> Alright. Um... Jeez, I don't know. Scope, mesh, synthesized odor. Let's see what I've got now. Okay, cool. Um, that's good enough, I suppose. I want him and... Oh, no. God, no, not her. Yep. Alright, everybody. Let's save it again. After all that busy work. Man, I can't believe I just spent like 4,000 credits. Jeez. Money goes fast in this game. I like that. You know, I think that it's better to have not enough money than always more than you can spend. I've stolen everything from these people. I'm here. Let's level her up. Wow, she's got a lot of stuff. Powers. Huh. All right. Force Aura. I assume the red ones are dark side, green ones are light. Universal Power. Bro, lightsaber, that's cool. Yeah, these are light side. Okay. Burst of speed. That could be useful. Force Valor. Energy Resistance. All right, I'm gonna give her Force Speed. Oh, she's leveling up again, apparently. Sh 
shock. All right. Oh, and leveling up again. Jeez, how many levels does she have? Beats. Night sense and force immunity to stun. Two weapon fighting style. Nah. She could use some more toughness, maybe. Nothing with a blaster. Critical strike. Doubles the critical threat range. Uh, I'll give her the improved criti critical strike. More powers, force shield. Yep, sounds good. All right, she's now level six. And probably very powerful at this point. We're gonna go up to the surface. I'm gonna go ahead and save the game because something tells me that when the Sith guys see this Jedi walking around, they're probably not gonna be too happy about it. Let's go talk. Let's have her talk to a uh, Sith soldier, just for some irony. Literally holding a, <laughs> holding a lightsaber in my hand. Yes. Unbelievable. All right. Where's that cantina? Can't really remember. I still can't believe I have no money left. I mean, seriously, that's... Cantina entrance. I mean, that's pretty amazing. All right. She's lagging behind. I've now gathered my party. Let's go. Ah, this guy. I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. Ah, oh, thank you very you much. Like you know how to get results. Yeah, I do from time to time. I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated, so I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I totally agree. I've got a plan to escape Taurus, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. You don't need to ally yourself with this person. We should move on while we can. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. Damn straight. Someone to steal the Sith launch yep, codes launch codes for the laser weapons. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Uh-uh, not yet. First you bring me the launch codes, then I'll tell you the rest of my plan. I think he's cheating us. Easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom built by Janice Nall. Just tell her Kander has sent you and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally, I do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. All right, you got a deal. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javier's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. 
Sounds good to me, man. Hopefully you can uh, become one of my followers and we can kill these Jedi together, these filthy Jedi scum. <laughs> All right, uh, wait, how did he say I'm supposed to get into the base? I need security codes or something like this. These are all um, bounty hunters or something like that. I'm not sure. Let's see what my journal says. What am I supposed to be doing now? Oh, I have to go get the droid. Yeah. Okay. I believe it's just right upstairs. I have to kill this guy at some point as well. Star killer. But um, I don't have a lot of confidence. I think he's probably one of the strongest people here, honestly. Nope, not you. She must be on the other side. Ah, uh, nah. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on top. I managed to free myself as I, oh, I hate you so much. I'll admit that I probably wouldn't have been able to free myself if not for the brawl after the swoop race. Actually, your presence at the swoop track is what I'm curious about. It couldn't have been an you also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Balka prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. It's quite a resume. Yes, I can see you do not lack an ability, although modesty is another matter. Hey, you, you want to fight to the death, or you want to go take care of this mission, huh? Much from you. The Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. The Force is in you. Though for most people, it's barely a measurable whisper. But there are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success. Though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps yeah, fair enough. Well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry. I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact Pardon that you're me? gifted. Hopefully I'm super gifted, bro. My Jedi training and the skills of our companions uh, looking for uh, the way off okay. the planet. Thank you for that little chat. This uh, city does look pretty sweet. I do wish I could fly around. Jump in one of those hover cars. Fly, fly, fly. I think I have to medical facility, huh? I don't think that's the right way. I think I have to go this way. What's this? Please, human, I'm injured and in need of assistance. These human children keep hitting me and kicking me. I cannot reason with them. But if I fight back, I could be arrested. I have a solution. Kill everyone. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah, go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. <laughs> Uh, yeah, why would a human want to help you? I will not stand here and let that poor man be stoned. You there, children, leave him alone. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. A freak. Yeah, he's supposed to be in the upper city. Oh, run for it! <laughs> Yeah, I hope I didn't gain any light side points. Oh, okay, you have nothing? Okay, alright. I see how it is. 
Yeah, you just can't get paid for good deeds these days. Or bad deeds. I'm interested I'm interested to see how strong these Sith troopers are. I actually kind of assume they're not that strong. Um but we'll see. Yo, girl, what's up? Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun kasha jona si. Yo. Mokau danya hoki, jatiska do punta kakaspa. What? I don't have two thousand credits, girl. Hey, I don't want trouble with Davik. Look, take the droid. He's yours. But next time Davik wants to do his custom work, he's out of luck. Damn straight he's mine. I'm not going to give you 2,000 credits, woman. Alright, um, let's remove him and add him. Dark side points gained. Damn right. I wonder if this uh, robot's going to explode like the last one. You know, if I was really, if this was really an RPG, I could go around, I could turn around and kill that person for selling me a defective robot. Remaining points one. Weird. Very weird. I don't know how that all works, but... Oh, level up again. Skills. So strange. Why? Oh, I don't know. All right. Improve caution. Computer use. Yeah, let's go improve computer use. Let's level them up again, I guess. Computers, repair, that. All right, feats. No, he probably doesn't need any blaster stuff. Toughness, blaster integration, combat. Okay, let's give him toughness, I guess. What? Okay, cool. And the Sith base is this direction, if I remember correctly. A plague spreads through our streets. We cannot... I believe that is the door to the Sith base. This place is pretty awesome. Huh? What's going on? I think that's taken off. Oh. Nope. This is landing. Sweet. Oh, that one's taken off. All right. And that is where we're going to end the video for today. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. In the next episode, we're going to go straight into this military base, get those goddamn launch codes, and give them to the Mandalorian. And hopefully, he doesn't double-cross us. Hopefully, we can get off this planet. Um, but, yeah. That'll be all. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, comment, or don't. Do whatever you like. I've been Dudical, and it's been Knights of the Old Republic. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye.